Cancer, welcome to your Singles and Curious reading. So glad you're joining me today. Used to call it New Love, and apparently that confused people. So, there you go. Singles and Curious. Why the curious part? Well, sometimes you want to see how the other half lives. That's why. Sometimes we want to see our alternative selves. What would it be like if I were single right now? And in which case, you might see something horrible, and you're like, damn, I'm glad I'm not single right now. <laughs> Let me tell you. Absolutely, but I want to be all-inclusive. You don't have to be single to watch this. And uh, hopefully you get something out of it regardless. You know what I mean? Sometimes tarot resonates regardless of our status. That's just the way it is. Uh, I read energy. It's not just about the cards. It's the energy. It's the intuition. It's all that. So hopefully you can get something from it rather than nothing. You know, and if you don't, you don't. I'm sorry. Check care of the placements. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Real person, real tarot, real personality. I have a laugh. You know, I have a laugh. I express myself. I express strong opinions. If you'd like a reference on that, check out uh, Scorpio's last bonus love reading. And get real. And I can lose my patience. And I'll tell you why. I'm not a passive reader. I'm animated. I'm an animated person. If you like my energy, if you like my vibe, let me know. Like, share, move, and subscribe. I appreciate you. But I'm also not everybody's cup of tea. You don't have to stick around. I know very much what I'm like. Okay? I can be loud and obnoxious and crude. All that. And that's not going to change. Okay? So yeah, this is not a popularity contest. I am who I am. I've been getting a lot of those comments lately. You know? Just... It's unfortunate. It's like, honey, nothing's keeping you from sticking around. You know? But if you do like what I do, I hope you do. You know? It's that simple. That simple. What's going on, please? What's going on? If you're new to tarot, it doesn't matter who you watch. Take what resonates, save it does not. Reverse energies as it applies. That's it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yes? What's going on? Show me singles, please. I want to see Cancerian single. Cancerian single energy, please. Cancerian single. Cancerian single energy, please. You, 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 your, your waters, even if you're technically single, honey. Your emotional waters can tangle with somebody for a very long time. So I, I really feel like I have to go out of my way for you. I need to see Cancerian single, please. Cancerian single, please. Show me Cancerian single energy, please. Cancerian single energy, please. Cancerian. Cancerian single, please. Just to give you a point of reference, like say, let's take Sagittarius for instance, their need to win at all costs and to fight and to engage and to engage and engage. They, they can show energy entanglement for years just based on their fire. Imagine you and your water. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Show me Cancerian single, please. Cancerian single energy. Cancerian single energy, please. Cancerian single energy. But unlike, uh, unlike Scorpio and even Pisces, you're much more accepting. You know, doesn't make it any easier, but you're much more accepting for that reason. So what's going on? Current singular cancer energy. Current singular cancer energy, please. What's currently going on? Current energies, please, for cancer. Current energies, please, for cancer. Current energies, please. This is the Terror of the Divine. It was a gift from a Sassy Fair member. Love it. Light, lovely, refreshing. Current energies, please. Current energies, please, for Cancer. Cancerian single energy. No, we can't. We can't be doing three straight out the... Oh, my. Some of you are quite literally married to a Capricorn or Scorpio. Good for you. Or you want to be. Damn, there's a... <laughs> There's like a viciousness to that. Somebody's energy is heavily attracted to somebody else or it's the both of you. I'm seeing ten of coins in this context as strength as opposed to commitment. Ten of coins can often mean a strength of physical energy. Two people very much strongly attracted to each other. You might have started seeing someone new who could either be Scorpio or the devil, Capricorn. Fierceness. It's absolutely fierce between you two. Does not have to be. 
Current energy, please. I need to see something more individualized for cancer. So, that was confirmation for whoever needed it. Show me the current energy for cancer. Singular. Thank you. The magician. That's better. Was that so hard? Was that so hard? You. Look at you. Good. We're manifesting. What we're manifesting? I don't know. But you look happy. And that's all I care about. We ain't trying to deal with that shit. Mm -mm. Came down face, it, it, face down. Anyway, we're trying to manifest our way out of that three sword shit. Right? Great. Let's keep it that way. Okay. No. See? So I'm talking about. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to focus in on just your positive energy. Not somebody you tied yourself to 10, 20 years ago. I almost see that. Show me the new person, please. New person, new person, new person. Energetically speaking, you can tie yourself to somebody. Absolutely. And that's never so true as it is for you. New person. Cancer's like, I know. New person, please. New person. The fool. Could literally be an Aquarius or an Aries. Uh, technically, the fool is an Aquarian placement, which I strongly disagree with. I think that's incredibly stupid. Um, that's me. Yeah, that's my Scorpio talking. Because I actually read tarot and I know better. This is actually Aries energy. But it's technically Aquarius's card. Okay? But the fool. New person. You have a strong impression of your new person that they are someone who takes leaps of faith. They are risk takers. They start new chapters. They have a brave face to the world when presented with difficulty. They go out there and they make things happen. They change things of their own will and volition, right? And you're attracted to that. You are trying to manifest that. You want to manifest somebody who is not afraid to take life on. They take on challenges and they put themselves out there. They put themselves out there. They put themselves out there in full positive, not full negative. You literally see them this way and you're trying to summon them. You, This is the person you want to summon towards you. That person who can take not afraid to make themselves look like an ass so long as it is that they get what they want okay so because they're willing to fucking try they put themselves out there and that's a brave thing that's a hard thing it's hard to be the fool it's hard to be the fool but with risk comes reward and that's how you see this person because and that's what you want to see in yourself because you're trying to manifest it towards you this person's energy um let's see if that happens is the coin wants and fyi they find just saying. They're fine. Okay. <laughs> it's that vibrant energy that you like so much. Okay? Queen, Queen of Wands. That's, that's who that's who we want. That, that's manifestation. Now, that's who we're manifesting. So when you associate with risk-taking, they have vibrant, fiery energy. Wherever they seem to point their fire, they just they do so with determination and conviction. Um, they have an independent streak. Absolutely. And that's something else you would like to see more in yourself. You're manifesting their energy. So that tells me what you're attracted to by default in their qualities. Okay. Is that uh, they have a strong sense of independent streak and you would like to experience that for yourself as well. Um, okay. Is the attraction instant? I am rejecting the idea of Aries Leo Sage, although it could literally be. It's just more like their spirit energy is so strong. You know, they go out there and embrace the world, even if it's scary. Uh, is the attraction instant, please? Is the attraction instant, please? Is the attraction instant, please? I think you're aware of them. They may not be aware of you. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you're dealing with a fixed sign. Uh, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Seven of Coins, it was slow building. It's slow building. Slow building fire. Slow building fire. Slow building fire. Seven of Pentacles. Typically, as you know, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it has its merits. Slow building fire between two people. So, it's kind of like a slow roast. Right? A very slow roast. Some of the best barbecue takes like, what, 24 hours? Oh, nothing beats a good barbecue, I tell you. And the best kind of been marinating for hours. Oh my god, it's just delicious. It's... Mm -hmm. This feels like it's been slow. I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> I'm always hungry. <laughs> Never not hungry. Oh, man. Mm. God, I wish I knew how to grill. Seven of coins. So, it's been slow building. It's a slow building fire. Ooh, it's sexy. Slow building fire. Hopefully it didn't stagnate and die. That's the traditional seven of pentacles, and that's why I don't particularly care for it. But in this context, it feels like it's a slow building fire between two people. You want this person. 
you want this person. Show me the mental and emotional. I already have a very strong idea of this person, but Spirit just wanted to make that super duper clear who that new person was. Show me the mental, emotional, physical attraction, please. Mental, emotional, physical the sun could literally be a leo what else tried to fly out the chariot could be a cancer it's um it's just the sun everything about this person just radiates they feel warm to you you feel the warmth with them the the particularly the call to life is why you're very much attracted to this person they seem to have a very i take life on man i take life on by the balls they have that kind of vibrancy around them and you're very strongly attracted to it it's the same sort of independence and freedom you want to see in yourself it's the sun, man. It's the most tempting element in the world, in the known world, in the human existence on planet Earth. The sun is the most tempting element. Temptation to live, to be in the sun, to love and to be loved, to fly high, to have the highest achieving goals, to be nurtured, to thrive. You want to thrive, man. And this person energy makes you feel like thriving. Uh, okay. Challenges, please. Challenges, please, in this connection. Some of the challenges, please, in this connection. Seriously, oh, blockage already. Come on now. Challenges. What's okay? The hermit, the emperor. Okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me while I roll my eyes. Yeah, the hermit and the emperor, Virgo and Aries. That's that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. We got pride. We got overthinking. Despite the emotionality that we feel, we want to send this person a message like yesterday. <sighs> Anything to fill this person's cup to even just a little bit. So, either some of you are in pre-existing commitments and it's very commanding, um, st rigid, structured, difficult, and that, that could very well be. I know it's singles, I'm seeing a cancer's singles energy. <laughs> not necessarily that you're not in a commitment. This is what I asked for your singular energy. That could include, include the hypothetical of being single. So, some of you are in commitments and they're quite rigid. There's no room to breathe. There's just nothing but structure and rules and regulations and this is how it has to be. And uh, We're quiet. It's quiet, quiet, quiet insistence how this has to be. The hermit, quiet, very quiet energy. Quiet, stubborn insistence, this is how it has to be. It's safe. So that would explain why you crave this person's free and independent energy. Gorgeous and glorious and sunny as it is, somebody perpetually feels like they're forced to live in the dark and they're scared. There's a feeling of being scared here. I'm safe here. I'm safe in this person. I'm safe in the strength of what it is. I know this person has too much freedom. They fly too close to the sun and uh, they manifest it. You, looks like you manifest this person's energy because it's everything you don't have. Quiet, stubborn insistence. We're afraid. We're afraid of the sun. We're afraid um, we have to be strong at all times. To take chances is to risk ourselves being weak, right? Despite the Knight of Cups feeling card of Pisces. Now, for those of you who are not in commitments, okay. There is this, because that's, I'm not going to lie, this, this, this power energy is so substantial, I don't know how I'm not looking at a cancer who isn't in some sort of commitment. Okay. Uh, but for those of you who are not, there's something here, a rigidity of rule that you set in place a long time ago, and you're inflexible about it. And it has directly to do with our freedom of spirit versus fear to live. Okay. Um... We were supposed to heal ourselves about this a long time ago, like a long time ago, but we we can't allow ourselves to heal from it. What that is, we'll take a look. We'll figure out which one is which, okay? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> this is, I highly recommend this tea, by the way. If you suffer allergies like I do, who is this? This is the Smith Tea Maker. It's their uh, black tea and lavender. No, I'm not. That's a whole other thing, but no, that's not an endorsement, honey. I just like their tea. <laughs> it's like, if you have allergies like I do. <laughs> Let me tell you, honey. I'm getting hit daily with sponsorship stuff and ambassador programs, and I'm telling you, it's like, 
And that's great. That's lovely. I am open to sponsorships, but it's like some of the things I'm being presented just are so cheesy. It's just so, it just reeks of cheese. I'm like, really? You really expect me to go on camera and promote this? Are you serious? Yeah, you never know unless you ask, so bless them for trying. When, where, how will you meet? When, where, how you meet? Mm -hmm. I'm open to sponsorship, but honey. Come on now. <laughs> Seven, I'm, I'm very discerning. Seven of wands, please. When, where, how? We are talking. Seven, uh, so wand implies sooner rather than later. So if you haven't met this person yet, seven might have been a marker for some of you, April 7th specifically. So that's already happened for some of you, and it might have sparked or generated all this. Perhaps you knew this person seven years ago, perhaps, because I am seeing what is possibility familiar. You're very, you have such a strong impression of this person. I don't know how you haven't known them for some time, as the Seven of Pentacles implies here. It's a slow building attraction that has been building for you two between July 2019. It was July 29th. That's the, that, that date was just, like, that was like movie theater date. That was like coming soon to a theater near you, July 2019. That's when you might have, it's been slow building since then. No, I'm sorry. Back to this. When, where, how? So seven of wands, it could be seven days a week from now. It could be seven hours. Wand is much more immediate. Uh, doesn't have to be. It could just be overall July. Time is flexible and terror. Harvey for the collective. There's, honey, there's 8 billion people divided by 12 signs. That's why. Okay. But we will take a look and see what that means. We will take a look and see what that means. We have pain in our heart space. We have pain in the heart space. I can't believe I let, I can't believe I let this end. I can't believe I let this end. I can't believe I let this end. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, I can't believe I let this end. I can't believe I'm an ass. I can't believe I let this go. Why didn't I? Why didn't I? Oh, why didn't I? Was, I'm such an ass. I'm such an ass. How did I let this go? How did I let this go? How could I have let this end? Something like that. We have here uh, the world indication of the fixed sign. So Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, the lovers, card of Gemini, the moon, card of Pisces. Uh, we could not take a trip down Moon Avenue. We could not take a trip down Moon Avenue. We couldn't. There's just fears that are holding somebody's back. We have the hair font with the Taurus, uh, five of wands. We just we couldn't stand up and fight for this connection. We couldn't do it. Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I fight for this? Why didn't I even try? Why didn't I try to keep it? Why didn't I try to keep it? Something like that. Why didn't I try harder? That could be them too, honey. Reverse energies as it applies always, okay? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for cancer. What's going on, please? Oh, God, they should not be running over 30 minutes. They really shouldn't. But like I said, I get into it, man. I fucking get into it. Imagine me at the private reading. And for those of you who worked with me, you already know how detailed I get. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification of what's going on. Let's do one more. Show me what I need to see, please. Okay, what's going on, honey? <clears throat> Currently, we are manifesting the magician. It makes you happy to do so. It feels good to manifest, right? It feels good to manifest this person. It does. And hopefully it does, but you wonder if you should. You wonder if you should. Why? Why? So we're doing some half-assed manifesting. Okay, we overthink it. We juggle it. We're overthinking our thoughts uh, about the plan specifically, correct? The plan, the Ace of Pentacles, the viability. How do I do this? Small little methods? I'll know. Some of you need to get something out. Some of you have a plan that you want to get out, and it's kind of substantial. You've been working on it. You might be overthinking it a bit, but for some reason that's imperative for you. That's that's part of your process. It's part of your process. You want this to pull. You want to pull this off just so. You want to pull this off just so. You want to pull. You want to pull this off just so. The offer. Here's the offer. There's something. Yes, of course it's your two of cups. I know. You want to pull this off just so. How? Show me how. Because you want it to lead somewhere, Knight of Wands. You want this to lead somewhere. You want you want this to happen. You want this to happen. And it's very physical. It's very. I know you. It's been slow building. I see it, honey. I see it. Oh, remember that video? I told you. I just want you to get laid, honey. 
Some of y'all's working on that. I see your plan. That's why you're thinking the details so hard. Oh, I saw details, honey. <laughs> Not like your actual details, but the mind, how your mind worked about the details. You want it to be just right. <sighs> okay. 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 You're not, you haven't released those thoughts yet. You haven't released them thoughts yet. You have not released them. You have not released those thoughts yet. Okay. What's going on? Oh, God. Yes, honey. Oh, manifest, honey. Look at you. Look at you go. Correct. There's the plan. This is, this is the guy right fucking here. King of Pentacles. Okay, so he's our ultimate strategy guy. You would think it would be the King of Swords. And he's a great thinker. He's a great fucking thinker. King of Swords. But this actually pulls the plan into reality. So this person has a plan and they're going to pull it into reality. How under what? It's looking like it's you. So you might have some heavy uh, earth in your chart, particularly Taurus, but also Capricorn Virgo. Or you might be, that that's might be who you're trying to pull in. Mm. You could be trying to pull in an earth sign too. It's like that one right there. I'm working on that strategy right fucking now. This is a plan and it has viability attached to it. How so? I'm not sure and to what extent, but you do. <laughs> You're the one who's manifesting it. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yes. We have passion and sincerity. We want to back it up. Something like we want to back it up. We want to back it up. We want to back it up. Let's make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. I'm tired. Uh, yeah. So we're working out the details. Honey. Goodness me. Look at that. That's some killer energy here. Very de that's that's lovely. That's masculine. That's determination. Yeah, I'm not saying you are. Ma I'm not saying you're a male. You don't have to be a male. Okay, sex to relevant tarot. It's more about the direction of the energy. Okay, that which we uh, associate with the masculine energy in terms of persistence, developing a, developing a plan, deploying the plan, directing the plan, that kind of thing. The insistence, the persistence. Um, let's make this happen. You know. Whereas if it was the female energy, it'd be like yeah, but. Um, I want all that, but it needs to come to me. Hmm. <laughs> Told you I have personality, honey. Like I said, I ain't everybody's cup of tea, but I'd like to think I make people laugh on occasion. Okay. It's like, yeah, honey, I want all that, but um, bring it on. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. The Fool and the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. We're fiercely attracted to this person's sense of spirit, their independence. Uh, correct. All that. It's all that. It's all that. This person has a fierce sense of direction, independence, ace of wands, fiery pathway. They are attracting attention. That is true. You seem to know that. They do attract attention. You do seem to be aware of it. Um, but their spirit is, is, is glorious. I don't lie. Their spirit's glorious. It's adventurous. They try new things. Try everything once. They might have literally have said that before. You know, try everything once. Um, but it's more than that. They don't just talk shit. They do it too. They do it too. They don't just like, they, they're not the person that says, oh, when day I'm gonna. No, they actually do what they're gonna do. They they actually do what they say they're gonna do. That's this person's energy and it's lovely and it's fierce. And it's gorgeous and they hot, they fine. Okay, and that's, it's, it's just gorgeous. Look, look at that, look at that lovely loveliness. Like they're not afraid to start things. They're not afraid to start things. They're not, their energy is just fabulous, honey. We've been hanging back. We haven't dipped our toe. It's back in there in the shallow pool. Show me the seven of coins. Uh, is the attraction instant? It was slow burning. Correct. We took way too much time to think about this. Okay. I mean, again, dealing with Taurus and then also the hanged man Pisces. Um, you know, we've been thinking about this a long time. A long time. We've been keeping an eye on the situation. I don't know. What the fuck does that mean? Why did I just say that? We've been keeping an eye on the situation. Why? Why have been keeping an eye? It's been slow building between you two for a long time. Quite possibly, literally, since July of either last year or 2019. Show me the Seven of Pentacles, please. We think about it a great deal. The correct. This is the manifestation. Yes. Twice. Twice. Whew. Wow. Okay. Okay, there she is again, Queen of Wands, damn. Mm hmm Excuse my tummy, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Honey, I just, the, the, at the rate of which I burn energy, it's not, and that's not even a metaphor, that's like legit. <laughs> at, the rate I, at the rate I burn, I'm always hungry. Mm. Oh, excuse me. 
Yes, and we're manifesting it too. After a while, the slow burn thing isn't working anymore, is it? We need to act. Oh. Some of y'all don't scorp. Seriously. Possibly a touch of Leo here. Heavy Scorpio energy. Tower. Queen of Cups. Death. And the Queen of Wands. Some of you just should, like, look, like, literally, seriously, that's who you're dealing with right fucking there. If I were to summarize this person's personality, I would, this, this would be a great summarization right fucking here. Okay. Wow. Damn. Mm -hmm. It's been slow burning, honey. This has been slow burning. Manifestation, manifestation, manifestation. And for a while, that flame went out. It went out, the Ten of Swords. We turned our back on it. We turned our back on an opportunity. We turned our back on an opportunity. Yes, correct. The disconnect is here at the Five of Pentacles. Change, Four of Cups. We could not stop holding back, but we also didn't know how to go further. Oh, dear. There was no change, in other words. Okay, despite the fact that there was a clear sense of victory. Uh, victory could have been had, but it was not taken. Okay, we turned our back on this. Somebody did. You or them or the both of you. Uh, somebody called it quits. It's like, I can't deal with this. Who had that? All tension, no climax. And that's correct. You can't sustain that. You can't. Sorry, you gotta have a fucking climax. Otherwise, tension just fizzles out and becomes nothing. Uh, so that might have been the case for some of you. It was all tension, no climax. It wasn't for lack of manifestation. You were both fucking doing it. And then it stopped. Correct. Somebody was cold. Queen of Swords. And they did a firm decision here. They made a firm decision here. Okay. Can we fit? Yeah. Stagnation. I got the point. I got the point. Yes. I got the point. The stagnation. Nothing fucking happened. It built up to a certain point and then it fizzled out. Okay. Water went over that fire. It, it, it dampened, it fizzled out, etc. Okay? I don't know. But that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody called it quits. They didn't harvest the fucking pentacles. They didn't make good on the manifestation. It was all talk, no action. Okay? It was tension without climax. And this was an Ace of Cups type situation. Of course it was. But we fought our hope regarding it. We fought the hope of it. We wanted to hope, but we didn't dare. We fought it off five of wands. Possibly there was too much competition surrounding this person, but basically I see it as having lost hope. That somebody lost hope or faith in the situation or the other person, or it probably didn't mean all that. You know, it was building up to nothing. It, it, there you go. It built up to nothing. Um, despite the fact that you were both manifesting it. So, given this person's free spirit, not free spirit, it's not like that. It's just their energy is so active and bright um, and engaging and they're risk-taking. That tells me by default the other person could not. So that would explain why you're manifesting so hardcore. Show the sun, please. Show me the sun, please. This is the mental, emotional, physical attraction. Okay. Show me the mental, emotional, physical attraction the sun. The sun. I mean, it's just the most tempting element in the world, isn't it? You know, pure affection, pure joy, pure everything. It's just the best of what we have to offer in ourselves and for the other person. It's, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. What's going on? There is a leadership here quality in this person. Worship qual worship quality? What do you mean worship? What does that mean? There's a worship quality and the Do they just does this person attract people? They fo they have followers? Well, that, honey, anybody on social media can have followers. I mean, that is you act as a guidance. Oh, oh, they act as a guidance. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's part of their attractive quality. They act as a guidance to other people. It 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 looks worshiping. I'm not saying I'm not saying like they're a religious leader or a cult leader or anything like that. That's not what I mean. It's um, they have a way of directing other people that. You think that they have worshippers or followers or something like that? They have followers. Maybe they're an influencer. You know, if I were to put it in modern day context, they might be an influencer, you know, like in social media and shit like that. Uh, they might be on television. I don't know, you know, but in this context, yes, where they go, people follow, where they go, people look, people listen to them. Okay. As indicated by the Pharaoh, 
Okay. Neat. Okay. And that's part of the attractive quality. It's very specific. It's under the sun. They're also the stars. Oh, fuck. This person has high visibility, don't they? Okay. So the sun and the stars. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, no wonder you're turned on, honey. The sun and the stars, they embody the both the sun and the stars. Oh my, so their their energy really is attractive, isn't it? Oh, I don't blame you. Oh, I don't blame you. Oh, oh, God. Oh, they have a high visibility, very high visibility. They're a rising sun. And they're a rising star. They're, they're rising, they're just rising, they're just rising. Their energy is constantly rising. Um... So their pathway, their growth potential is rather substantial, isn't it? Uh, visibility high in the sky. That's what the star is. Now, it could be that they're so, like they're a star and stars are beautiful, but can you actually obtain a star? Okay. Um, it, it, it's, 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 it's almost like dreamy in quality. Uh, dreamy quality, but in the real world though, people follow this person. They have a following. I keep hearing that. They have a following. What is, anyway, this is fascinating. Yeah, there's that full energy again. They've taken chances. They've taken chances that have led them into this moment in the life where they have a rising star. And, um, but it's applicable in the real world with the sun energy. Like they give people hope. Okay. They have fall something like that. It is something like that. It is something like that. And somebody's energy is so, so practical. Like, how do I balance with this? We've thought about it. There's the, I'm sorry, I'm frustrated for you, Cancer. I, I want, honey, I want you to have a shot. I'm in your corner. Let's make that clear. I want you to have a shot. And that's what you want to know. How do I make this practical? Pisces had a similar conflict. How do I bring this? How? Practically speaking, what do I, do? <laughs> I see you developing a little plan back here. We're manifesting. I'm not sure how, but there is, the plan is solid. And so, and so is the intensity of uh, there's passion and strength of conviction behind this. But practically speaking, how do we bring it together with this person? How do we, how do we, how do we, how do we balance up? How do we balance up? Okay. Wow. Okay. Show me that. Okay. The challenge is happiness could literally be a Leo. No, we got too many players on this board, baby. Leo, Aries, and then uh, Virgo. Who is this? What is this about? The Wheel of Fortune. Five of Wands can mean many things. Wheel of Fortune, change, change. I need something to change in my favor. I need something to change in my favor. I need something to change in my favor. What is this? What is this Five of Wands here? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Some of this Five of Wands. I will tell you right now, if somebody is to plan, if, if there's a plan here to act like you don't care, it's not going to work. Let me tell you something, at least from my point of view as a person that lives in the real world and have experienced this shit, the more you act like you don't care, okay, the more likely real people are going to take you on face value. So if your plan here is to act like you don't give a shit, they're going to take you on face value and believe exactly that. So, for those of you who are opting for a strategy, just be like, I don't care, I'm going to show them, I don't give a fuck. They will take you at your face value. So, if there's a divide between you two already, it will be permanent after that. Okay? So, if you think, and you're, you know, like, I'm just going to show, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. They'll believe you. It's looking like there's already ending here twice. I mean, or at least once. At bare minimum, there's an ending here once because all we had was all talk, no action. Sorry, I hate to summarize it like that, but I call it like I see it. There was all talk, no action. So if that... It didn't work the first time, it's not going to work a second time. So if part of the uh, plan here is so it's like, I'm, I'm making changes, but I'm going to act like I don't care. That's not what we want. Okay. That's for some of you, all, not all of you. There's a bigger issue here. There's way too much energy on this board. Uh, Empress here. What is this? I'm trying to understand the challenges. I'm trying to understand the challenges. Help me understand the challenges. I see pride is involved. The Emperor plus the Sun is <laughs> pride. A lot of fucking pride. Perhaps you think your person is too proud. Perhaps you think that you're too proud or you can't get over your own pride, especially if you have Virgo, Aries, or Leo in your chart. Um... Challenges, please. Ace of Wands. The lovers. Fuck me. Wow. 
why is this a challenge? Some of you need to get out of this fucking script in your head. This need to be safe, this need to have things just so, to live in the shadows, to always be trapped by your sense of fears, is not serving you. The Ace of Wands is here twice. Do not play it cool and detached. You will set yourself up for failure. If this person really does live in fire, then they will trust sincerity. Do not approach them with anything less than sincerity. So you can build that back into your plan over here. Okay. Um, they trust sincerity. Talk is shit. Right? They clearly live in action-oriented concepts. That's where you need to be. Holding out is not helping you. It's not helping you, Cancer. I'm in your corner. Holding out is not helping you. It's not serving you. Your energy is going one way, but your stubborn insistence on staying here and, and being in control is hurting you. Okay? This idea of being in control is hurting you. This idea of pushing this person away, even though they represent the lover's bond, is what's hurting you. This cold insistence that thinks there's a sense of safety here and rigidity here. My rigidity is what keeps me safe and we overthink shit way too much. So I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. You are already aware of this and I'll tell you why in terms of your challenge category. The reason why I think you're already aware of this is because your opening is action and or plan oriented. So your challenge then, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that this is more self-acceptance, particularly since the hermit is here looking at the emperor. It's like, you know what? You're the reason why. You. Okay, you. Like the hermit. The hermit. I mean, he's a very gentle person. Okay. Um, remember the big Lebowski? Walter sense Something like that. He's a sensitive guy. <laughs> that, that's the hermit. The hermit is sensitive. Deep, internal, contemplative. This guy is a hard ass. All right. We've already kind of understood that our rigidity is what's keeping us very unhappy. The sense that you crave this person because they have that intensity to them. They're so self-claiming in their life path. Okay. That's what you want to see in yourself. So therefore, I'm not surprised I'm seeing your opposing energy is exactly the opposite. This is what keeps me safe. This is what I insist upon. These, this is all the scary shit I don't want to deal with because the hermit is very gentle with what it is that we need to heal ourselves with too. That's why he takes a long fucking time. So I'm telling you right now, some of you are already aware of the fact that this sense of rigidity and my safety and my structure and this is how it has to be is what's caused the problem. It's what caused the problem. Perhaps when it came time to, when it actually came down to the minute, honey, down to the wire, when it was time, when it was time to make the first move or to take the first action, when it was actually time to deliver that proof in the fucking pudding. That sounded unintentionally dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't, that, that's just how it came out. Sorry. <laughs> All day. All day, every day. When it came time to actually deliver the proof of our intensity in this slow building fire, we just couldn't. The Ten of Swords, we just couldn't. We just couldn't. We couldn't do it. We told ourselves we're too old for this, or we're too tired for this, or this is ridiculous, this is nonsense, I can't do this. Right? And it was just slowly building like this. Like that. Okay, and it, it happens, it happens when it came time to actually do the thing. Okay, it didn't happen. We were too rigid. We couldn't get out of our box, our safety box. Okay, I feel like you're already aware of it because of your opening, which is quite powerful and substantial. Very goal oriented. Okay, so let's get down to it. This happens. This absolutely happens. Yeah, of course it does. It's just sometimes the pressure and the buildup is so high when it actually comes down to it, to the decision, to this is actually happening. We back out. Let's wrap it up. Seven of Wands, show me. When, where, how, when, where, how. Seven and seven and seven. Good night. So much seven energy. I'm going to strike that home. I am seeing more options. How do I do this? How do I strike? How do I drive the stake 
home. How do I do this? How do I drive the steak home? How do I drive it home? How do I drive it home? More of that plan, the options, this with the soul bond energy. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Uh, seven is a marker for some of you. And honey, take that with a grain of salt. Seven hours, seven days, seven weeks, the seventh of any given month. Fuck, July. I don't know. Possibly September. Fuck. I don't know, man. Anything else, please? I want to drive this thing home. Six of cups. Make an offer. Extend. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out. Make an offer. Make an extend. Um, some of you are watching, hoping the other person will do it. I don't think so. I don't think so. This is your lover. This is your person. This is your six of cups. This is your two of cups, etc. Its connection is strong. There is regret. I didn't. I didn't close the deal. I didn't close the gap. I didn't reach for it. I didn't reach for the stars. I didn't reach for the sun. I was afraid of getting burned, or that I could never obtain it. That kind of thing. Um, you know, we're gonna drive. Let me, let me make this clear. You're gonna drive that fucking stay home. You're gonna complete that railroad. You're gonna do what you need to do. All right. You're still looking, as far as I can tell, on a plan of action. It does seem like you're going to resolve. We're going to go out of that Six of Pentacles balancing up to a Six of Cups, which I have to agree with. Your water, it just makes sense. Okay, you might have a strong sense of practicality, and I kind of see a Cancer who does. Um, but uh, just reach out in a small way and offer a little something. A little something because there's no honey does this look like somebody who's gonna ignore you does this look like somebody who gonna ignore you <laughs> there's a couple of folks who have been pulling up six two and the lovers consistently a couple of signs have um, this is a true pair thing this is a true pair thing and if that's the case, that would explain why some of the sexual tension here is just so strong that when it actually came time to, couldn't do it. I've done it. I've been through it. I know. You just kind of kick yourself in the ass since. And um, trust me. They'll listen. Reach out. In the smallest way. Okay? In the smallest way. They will listen to you. There's no way they wouldn't. There's just no fucking way they wouldn't. There's no fucking way. If you could be connecting to Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. I did see Scorps earlier, um, but that's that's it. It's like the, the, the direction of their energy is rather intense, um, particularly if they have any sort of fire in their chart. It's very directional. It's very directional. They seem to operate in that mode. Okay. Anyway, this wasn't supposed to be all that, but there you are. Okay, Cancer, I hope this was helpful to you. Take care. Be well.